In this video, we are going to cover the camera modes section of the toolbox located here on the left-hand side of the user interface. Now, I'm going to go ahead and collapse the other sections of the toolbox we're not using, and I can do this by clicking on these small black arrows at the top of each section. So here we are in the camera mode section, and by default, we are in camera mode, which really is just kind of like a normal mode. It is the mode by which you will just be moving around the camera, editing objects, uh, you know, at placing meshes, that sort of thing. The things that you generally will often be doing inside the, uh, the editor. You can think of it as the normal mode, as the editing mode, or maybe the not doing anything special mode. Now, that is not to say that these other modes, such as geometry mode, uh, texture alignment mode, or terrain editing mode, won't also allow you to move the camera around. So don't get too confused by the fact that this is called camera mode. Again, just think of it generally as default mode or normal mode. Now, to the right of this, we have geometry mode. And if we click on geometry mode, we get a little special UI that pops up. And I'm not going to discuss this in depth because there's actually a section of videos coming up that will discuss geometry mode in much greater detail. So we'll uh, save that for a bit later. I'm going to move straight down to texture alignment mode. And notice that little window disappears. Texture alignment mode allows you to intuitively or interactively adjust textures on BSP surfaces. It won't allow you to adjust them on static meshes. That is done through laying out UV textures inside of a separate 3D application. But if I select this wall, which is a BSP surface, you'll notice that I get a special form of the widget over here on the wall. And in fact, I'm going to hit the W key to make all of my static meshes disappear. Now, this is a two-dimensional version of the translation widget. And as I drag it, you'll see that I can move the texture along the wall to the left and to the right, and up and down. I can also move it uh, intuitively by dragging on the little tiny square in between the two axes. I can move it in both axes at once, so I can just really slide it around. It's a great way to intuitively place a texture, like if I want that seam located right underneath one of the doorways, I can you know, move it around just like that. Now, if I switch to some of the other widgets, though, if I maybe switch to the rotation widget, I can use this to rotate the texture. So very handy there. And I can also use it to scale the texture. So here's uniform scaling, and you can see those uh, patches getting much, much smaller as I do this. So let's make them nice and big again. And I think I can even, you know, I can uh, unif ah, non-uniformly scale. So here's just scaling down in X. So you can see them getting uh, thinner only in one direction, and then I can make them thinner in the other direction as well. So texture alignment mode is all about interactively adjusting the textures on a particular face. That's why it's here. Now, uh, to the left of this, we have terrain editing mode. And if we click on this, we get a great big huge dialog with a whole bunch of buttons, knobs, switches, and dials, allowing us to adjust the various aspects of terrain, which is not something I'm going to get into right now. We'll actually save that for a series of videos over working with terrain. And with that, you have seen all of the camera modes available to you within the toolbox.